Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Woo! Today is opening morning, opening day of adult shotgun turkey hunting here in Kansas. Now, a lot of y'all that have been here know that, yes, Bob already got down his turkey, uh, which I am allowed one more in a couple few places, a couple different sections here in Kansas. For the most part, throughout Kansas, you're only allowed one, but there's two little areas where you can shoot two. So, I'm planning on doing that, but today it's not about me, it is about Gerald. Y'all know Gerald, my buddy Gerald. We're doing it together, we are a team, yes. Decoys, Lodge. If you guys are interested in booking a waterfowl hunt uh, with Gerald and I here at my place, Sand Hill Flyaway, I will link uh, Sand Hill Flyaway's Instagram down below. Uh, down in the description actually and I'll put it at the top of the comments go there follow us give us a good old follow and that's where you can hit us up in the DMs whatever but give us a follow on Instagram for sure but today uh, actually yesterday Gerald and I got out and uh, we scouted a bunch of public land and check this out I actually found this yesterday a little coyote jaw jowl yeah so today public land hunt gonna try to get it done old gerald with my bolt action single shot 410 that's what he's using today it's the same gun that i used for the snow goose hunt the 410 so if all goes accordingly uh we should have a turkey on the ground pretty early if not we have a couple different spots that we're going to jump around to and try to get it done today but I've been asking you guys, uh, you guys really wanted to see me shoot a turkey with the 410, and I figured, you know what, if I can't, Gerald can. I took mine with a crossbow, which was epic, but a 410, we're going to use a nine-shot tungsten today from Federal. I am stoked. Uh, let's get on the road. I'm going to stop talking. I just want to make sure that y'all know that the Sand Hill Flyway Instagram is up and running. I need y'all to go give me a follow over there. Well, on the road here. I haven't talked to the camera for a long time on the road, on the way to the field. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of info that I didn't earlier. It is sitting at 4.48 a.m. Uh, my alarm went off at 4 a.m., which wasn't too bad. And it's 35 degrees. Uh, we got a west wind sitting at five mile an hour. So not too bad. A little bit brisk today. It's going to be chilly. Uh, I got on my under, so I should be good to go. Well, there you are. There's your lovely face. Uh, you ready for the old 410? I am. The old 410 with the tungsten TSS. If I don't miss. If I don't miss. Uh, hope you can see my lovely face. Um, here she is. Here's the old unit. There she is, ready to go. The old bolt action. <laughs> well, we're sitting right at 6.05 in the a.m. here. Uh, it's time to walk in. I think we only got about a 100, 100 yard walk here. Not gonna be too bad on this public land situation. Uh, but like I said, the old unit, the old bolt action 410, I love this gun. The pattern on this gun is so nice and these TSS tungsten nine shot is what he's, is what he's rocking today. Well, we're walking in here, and uh, the only thing that I know you guys can see is this lovely little Kansas sunrise while I'm walking here. Lovely morning, sitting at about 38 degrees. It's chilly. Oh, yeah, they're still there. Well, we are uh, <laughs> walking in, had to change paths. Tell them what happened. Walked up on some people that got here earlier than we did. Yeah, uh, we were had our heads down. It was dark, and Buddy just turns on a flashlight right in our face. But it's good to know. Yeah, yeah, he was nice. Yeah, so we just got out of there. We're trying to go around the backside so we don't mess up their birds. But if the birds don't go to them, they can come to us, maybe. Right. So it's publicly, and that's yeah, what happens. It's part of it. Yeah, part of it. A lot of turkeys, though. Now we're sitting about 200 yards away from the individuals that we ran into. It looked like a father's son, so they're extremely nice. They actually invited us to sit down with them. They're like, no, just sit down with us. They're right here. And we're like, no, no, no. We'll leave you guys alone. So we're moving. That's what happens with public land. If I can urge you guys, be nice to people. Everybody's out here trying to do the same thing. So uh, why aren't you using a decoy today? 
because these birds are super smart. They're super tough. Yeah, the public land ones. A lot of times you can get them to come in and then they get to where they can see the decoy and they just stay right there. They want that right. decoy to come to them, with that hen to come to them. Mm. Every now and then you can do it, but. Well, obviously with this public land, there's a lot of extra pressure out here. Oh yeah, there's obviously, yeah. But they were, they were good. They weren't mad. We yeah. seen them, they were there for us. So we yeah. just backed out, told them good luck. And That's how public land respect should work right there. Yeah, honestly. for sure. So we just backed out, got a couple hundred yards away. We're just gonna hope for the best. Oh, dude, they are gobbling like crazy. Yeah, they're excited this morning. It's perfect out though. No wind. Beautiful. Look at the look at the unit we got going on. That's a high tech looking 410, dude. <laughs> uh, I Be was sure. able. Yeah, I was able to. I was able to fit the uh, shot cam on there. I don't know what it's gonna look like, but there you go, buddy. <laughs> Oh, that's your baby. It's my girl. Oh, now they know we're here. Yeah. <laughs> These birds are going crazy. They won't stop gobbling. Just... See that? The far one sounds like a longbird. The other one sounds like Jake's. They are vocal this morning. There's gotta be freaking six plus of them. Yeah, there's a bunch. The birds just flew down. Um, again, no decoy. These public land birds are hard. Carol's been hunting this uh, public land area for a long time, him and his dad, so this is a whole different game, you know? Well, next spot. Uh, we quickly understood that the turkeys were moving away from us. Uh, we could hear someone else calling at them uh, that was actually sitting on private land. So we could tell that they were moving their way, but uh, we're at the next spot. We moved probably two miles. Hopefully we don't run into anybody. Coming down the road, we didn't see any cars, but... Any cars at the other spot? Either. Yeah, we didn't see any cars at the other spot either. We actually went on every road there could have been and there wasn't a car, so they must have got dropped off. Check that out. A little turtle shell. That's an old one. What in the world? People actually put stands up on public land like that? I don't know if you're supposed to leave them though. Huh. Anybody could literally take it, right? Well, if you're not a cool person, yes. Exactly, but. Anybody can hunt it. Yeah, anybody can hunt that, yeah. You can tell it's been there a little bit, but. These are brand new ratchet straps. People are brave leaving their stuff out of here. Okay. What's going on here? It's like a little lick, like he'll put like a deer scent on it and they come by and lick it. Oh, be done. But there is a, I mean, look at that trail. Yeah, that's a heavy trail, check it out. I don't know whose little setup this is, but brave for leaving a good stand like that out on public land. They got a string system. Must put some deer lick. From this little a bobber huh well you got more money than me <laughs> leaving your stand out here like that someone's liable to take it or hunt out of it which is fine Oop, better pick it up you know me always picking up empty shells wherever I see them especially on, especially on public land guys look at this the, I, you know one thing about public land you never know what you're going to come across. You just, you never know, you know? Check this out, another another tree stand. Hmm. I would assume it's probably the same guys. Gerald said that him and his dad, one year. You guys lost eight We stands? used to set a bunch just like that, and you leave them for the season. And on public, if you leave a stand, anybody can hunt it. Yeah. So if you come here and someone's hunting it, there's nothing you can do about it. But instead of just hunting it, they just took the whole thing. So he, said, he said one of them, they actually cut down the whole tree because yeah, it was locked to the awful. tree. Which is a lot of mine. They're like, what, a cheap one's like a hundred bucks a piece? Yeah, they're expensive. So we've almost lost a thousand dollars in one year hunting public. So Jeez. don't be that person. Don't be that person. Don't, don't, I guess, you know, if someone's not using it, you're more than, you're more than welcome to hunt out of it. But don't take people's stuff. Come on, man. 
new spot. Um, we just got done sitting for about 30 minutes, heard some gobbles, decided to move again. But new spot. We put eyes on a long beard and we are sneaking. Gonna try to get within 100, 120 yards of him. We're gonna sit down and get posted up here really soon. again um, another two mile move probably and uh, we got eyes on a Tom sitting at probably 300 yards away we're trying to get close to him the hens are like 40 yards away oh, okay. the Tom's hopefully they come to the hens then I can call him over gotcha still running no decoy um, we've been working we've been working to get it done we're sitting at 10, 11 in the a.m. still, so we've been going all morning trying to get it done here. So basically, here's the strategy. Carol's gonna crawl up to the edge of the tree row, sit on the edge with, so he can get a shot. These birds are working along this tree row out in the field our way, so they should be moving this way. We're gonna try to get in front of them here. This is my sitting spot by this tree. I'm in the shadow. Hopefully we get it done here. Please, please, please. You get him? You got him. You got him, didn't you? Oh, 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 oh. dude, I've been waiting forever. Yes. Did... Oh. He's just back there flopping, and you don't even want to look. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude, that was a long shot we're gonna have here in one second we're gonna have to step this off big bird big bird wow dude with the oh, oh God. he's not done i think he has two beards double bearded i think so right here oh, look God. at that oh yeah another one starting right there oh yeah definitely double bearded i'm glad my dad missed him <laughs> so this is the one uh, Gerald's dad missed. Uh, you guys didn't get, we didn't make a video we on hunted that. him. This will be the fifth time. The fifth time they've hunted him and his dad, but the, he missed with a crossbow. Yeah. Twice. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Twice. <laughs> but that's okay. It's actually the identical, the crossbow I used. Gerald's dad, that's what I used to get mine down. So look at what I was shooting through. Dude, we're going to have to walk this yardage off. Really? Where he lays right here. Oh, Go yeah. ahead. Yeah. Walk it off. Four, five, 10, 11, 12, 20, 30, 40, 
40 about yards. 40 to 42 yards i would guess long long poke with the old pea shooter with the pea <laughs> shooter oh that's awesome so did you have it on i so it I was had, on but it may it not have been going and then it was i don't know i definitely hit the oh you did I it did should go it. then it should have went then by now you guys know and i don't so check this out this is where gerald was this is his butt print i'm gonna show you here Gerald's walking away from us you can't even see him his dead bird is right there on the other side of all this limbs he shot through that 40 yards with the 410 y'all <laughs> the tungsten is no lie a double bearded strutter nice dude oh if you guys like this video gerald getting it done give the man a big old thumbs up come on he's not all the way done here i'm pumped first bird with a 410 and first double bearded rio double bearded rio I shot an eastern with two beards oh have you yeah an eastern with two beards what a freaking unit it's a good he's... double beard too yeah what a unit that's so awesome check it out there it is god with the bolt action 410 that was my first shotgun i ever had the old bolt action 410 that one had like a hole like that big to shoot through <laughs> And it was either headshot. Yeah, dude. either shoot, headshot. Shoot or don't. That first ten got so close it ruined everything. Yeah, I couldn't see him when you shot. Yeah, I mean you can't even hardly see where I was. <laughs> hey, what's up? How you doing, bud? Good. You get him? You know uh, the bird you missed at like twenty something yards. You want a bird? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's got two beards. Really? Here's <laughs> <Just> my ass. <laughs> so, with the old 410 uh, bolt action, that is, how confident at that shot, when you were getting ready to squeeze the trigger, how confident were you that <laughs> you were going to get it? Done? Like, honestly, how confident? Uh, I didn't think he was as far as he was, but I was pretty confident <laughs> when it went off it startled me because i didn't think he was gonna shoot uh i seen the hen come and then go and then after that i was like well it's over you know the hen kind of done us one over again and boom and it startled me and the camera went wow i was like whoa who did you get him and ended up shutting the because i was actually recording on my phone i could zoom a lot more and uh threw the phone down picked this up insane day uh do you have that's what i was gonna ask you do you have the mileage counter or the steps on your do you track that your steps i bet you our oh, phones do oh we my. walked our you know what's off today wonder how many miles we put on today well it feels like a lot more probably because we spot jump so much uh but four miles is what we put on today walking that is feels like more because we hit one two so the roost the second spot we didn't find anything yep third spot the jake the jake and, and then the fourth four spot. spot so roughly a mile a spot yeah a mile a spot four different spots <laughs> amazing amazing that 410 uh I, before we get home here i have to give a huge shout out to federal for providing uh the 410 tss that tungsten TSS load is no joke. It's this one right here. This is actually 12 gauge, but that's what it looks like. A lot of you are gonna tell me, Bobby, it's too expensive. Well, guess what? Uh, a 410 just killed a big old double bearded Tom. Through some nasty stuff. Through nasty branches, 40 yards. Uh, it's no joke. Get it, you can rely on it to get the job done. You put the beat on it. Uh, they say it only takes one BB in the head of of a turkey and I'll tell you what there wasn't more than two or three in his dome piece that's for certain oh oh your boy is tired let me tell you what so uh, it is still the same day I just got done editing this video and I am literally editing it and I am uploading it today today is still a shotgun turkey opener for adults I wanted to get it up for you guys. I hope that you guys appreciate that. Uh, if you do, 
hit that thumbs up button. Let's get this video to as many likes as we can. How about that? I'm not gonna put a number on it today. But if you guys feel generous, hit it. Uh, this was an epic hunt. I, I personally really wanted to take one with a 410, but I chose to do a crossbow. A lot of you wanted to see me do it, but we got to see Gerald do it. Uh, I wish I would have at least threw the GoPro on him. Um, I figured the shot cam was gonna work. I got home, that was the first thing I looked at, nothing. There wasn't a file one, it didn't record anything. Uh, my angle of the dangle with my phone, uh, I, when I seen that, when I seen the hand come and then leave Gerald, I'm like, it's over. So that's why you seen the phone dip and then he shot and then I picked it back up. So I'm just glad that we got it on film. I'm glad that I was able to make a video for you guys and get it up so quick. Today was a lot of fun. It seems like every turkey hunt I go on, I learn a little bit more each time. That's the same with waterfowl hunting, guys. Get out there, get it done. Even if you don't get it done, get out there and give it a good old try. Hunting season is going to be completely over once turkey season's done here. And uh, then we'll be waiting on dove season. But we'll have a lot of pigeon and starling and farm hunts, you know, all summer. So I really hope that y'all are enjoying the videos. If you are, go ahead and subscribe and hit that little notification bell on there because we're uploading three to four times every single week, y'all. Sometimes back-to-back -back days. Which reminds me, I have a morel mushroom hunt coming up where we cooked some yummies on public land as well. Been doing a lot of public land videos, a lot more public land videos to come. Let me know if you like to watch other people's turkey hunts just like today's. Gerald's, let me know if you guys want me to film more. That's all I'm saying. But until next time. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that keeps it.